There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is, everything's coming together. Bad news? Ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Back, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is gonna agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Let you off nearby if that's okay. Damn, man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. girl was born, I was more than a little upset. For one, I yeah. wanted a pretty Eight. child. Hundred. And secondly, no. I didn't want her to. Hey, Becky, my man, how are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. What do you think of Nico, Gracie? <laughs> Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with low lifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I thought he was a fucking user! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I don't fuck her! Visit us on the web at eugenicsincorporated.com and start designing your perfect baby today. It's born on only on the 598 point. Here, two miles. Turn left. Then immediately left.
<laughs> Gracie, you all right? <laughs> the bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. <laughs> Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down. Both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then, you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. <laughs> Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. How is it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Gancha is... What you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. Let's go. Fuck, Nico, there's some guys up there. I got something in my sights. You glad you messed with me? Get him, Nico. Hey, man. Now, I'm gonna go 
trigger on this one. All right, man, keep on me. Take the high road and you take the low road. Diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them, screw all of you. Llevano isto, you selfish piece of cock sucking shit. Spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Watch it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All that 
trouble for nothing. Kidnapping the bitch, holding on to her, fighting through them damn Russians, all of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Pacino, but we would've got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would've made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Bocino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond dealer, and it turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. Stole them from you, did they? No, they stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit, these diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for him. It's good they are on their way to a landfill somewhere. Best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man, Gracie's friend. Well, I don't know, maybe to Bulgarin. Bulgarin? He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin had lost a lot of money that night and he needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Holt Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Bohan to get away from him and another man called Dimitri Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Holt Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Becky. Is making little soldiers I want to fight this culture. Hand That's great. Hand. All right, then. Let's do it. Uh, wait, cats? I would name them after patriarchal influences. I'm drawing my inspiration from my kitties. No, okay, nobody, nobody wants to hear about your... To, to this world! Here we are. I, I great, cannot thanks. wait to be judged. Because I'm going to be okay. Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Becky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. <laughs>